Hey guys, back here at Ground Control, still working on chaining our submissions together. Now, I'm gonna go on Brian, start looking for the arm bar again. So as we start looking to set our arm bar. Now, the last time we showed transitioning to the triangle, and a lot of this has to do with what position uh, the opposite arm, not the one that I'm targeting in the arm bar, but the opposite arm does and what angle it's at depends on which, which submission I chain together with it. So as I come over here, if I lose the arm in transition and I see Brian's arm is on my bottom side hip or the, the hip on the same side of the leg is in the armpit, I'm not gonna go towards the triangle with this one. I'm gonna come over top and secure his arm. I still have that good bite onto his shoulder and now my leg that's over his head is gonna leg drop. So as I leg drop, I'm gonna to look to angle myself off so my head rotates over towards his hips. From here, I'm also leg pressing, so I still have pressure onto his head. I'm gonna leg press and then pendulum my leg down to come to a seated position. Once I'm in my seated position, I make sure that I have good security of his arm. He's in a base position. And now I step my leg out, switch my hips so I'm bladed towards the hip on the inside and now walking in a circle to try to flatten him out towards the mat. At this point, I take the slack out of my leg, make sure my knee is lined up onto the shoulder, just like we talked about before. My hand comes underneath to the lapel. I do a pull and post my elbow on his lower back. The last thing that we look to do is I'm gonna try to set my ribs on top of his wrist. I come down towards a horse collar, and now as I stretch his arm, I bring my hip over top in order to finish the omoplata. So starting from our arm bar, and this may happen from the traditional staff. Brian might still go the same way he did for the, uh, for the triangle. And as he pulls out, boom, his arm starts rotating towards the other side. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to um, leg drop the back of his head as I leg press. And now I'm gonna look towards my rotation. As I work my way up, uh, right now you see Brian was flattened out. Um, if he's not, we're gonna still do our circular walk in order to break his base. I'm gonna control the lapel, controlling his arm. Elbow goes towards the back and I take the slack out of my leg and get that good stretch going. From here, my outside leg is my power source. I'm gonna try to grab towards my horse collar, dropping my rib to isolate his wrist between my ribs and my leg. And now bringing my hips over top in order to apply the proper pressure. That's an armbar tonal plata from Full Guard.